We are focused on, again, finishing this semester strong. November 24th obviously is the in-person date, but you still have finals. This is very doable, very reachable. And the things that we need to continue to do include wearing your mask, physically, socially distancing, sanitizing your hands, and finally, limiting your interactions with other people and keeping your social bubble to a minimum, especially as you're considering uh, going home and uh, for the holidays and potentially interacting with some of your vulnerable family members. So current trends in Auburn and the Lee County area is that we're still pretty low. Across the state, there are signs that there are new cases that are starting to bump up. Uh, nationally, we are seeing definitely a rise in new cases in a number of states, over 40 to be exact. And uh, internationally, we are definitely seeing the second wave happening in Europe and Canada and some other countries. And with that comes uh, additional new restrictions. There have been documented cases of reinfection that have happened. It's well documented. However, the number of those cases are very small and it's too early for us to tell what percentage or what degree of people can get reinfected. So right now, my advice is to treat it as though you can get reinfected, to treat everyone as though they are infected, and therefore, even if you've had the virus, you should still continue to wear your mask, physically, socially distance, sanitize your hands. Uh, that way you will decrease, if you were susceptible, and we don't know the answer yet, you will decrease your risk of getting reinfected. Number one, the most effective means of preventing the spread of this respiratory virus is wearing mask. That's it, number one. And so you should be wearing mask as often and all the time if you can, both indoors and outdoors, on transit, uh, wherever you can, you should be wearing mask. This works. The science is there and, and, and it's, it's a respiratory virus, so it will help protect you as well as others. The second thing is, should you be exposed to the virus, there is scientific data that says wearing a mask will reduce your degree or the amount of inoculation of the virus you will get. And it will tend to make your, uh, if you have symptoms, for it to be mild or asymptomatic in some cases. So wearing those masks are really important. When we were thinking about, you know, again, what to, we can do to make the campus safer, uh, mask wearing was the number one uh, uh, topic. And so initially it was both indoors and outdoors. Uh, it has changed to indoors uh, mandatory, outdoors optional if you can keep distance. You will not see me in the outdoor areas without my mask. I wear it indoors and outdoors. So as time goes on, we're getting lots of uh, more scientific information about masks. You know, everything from how effective is a neck gaiter and, and how effect, what's the best mask to use. My answer is simple, okay? Uh, number one, the more uncomfortable the mask is to wear, the more likely it's protective, the higher the protection rate. Number two, wear a mask that you are gonna consistently wear. It's of no use if you're going to wear a Again, an uncomfortable mask, but wear it very infrequently. It would be better that you wear a mask that is, again, comfortable for you, that you can be consistent with, and wear it uh, as much as you can. <music>